Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share an updated project pan with you guys. I haven't filmed one in a while. So this will be the last one because most of these products you're going to see in the next empties video. So I'm going to leave it at that. Like almost all of them are gone. But I wanted to do an update because I keep forgetting. So we'll start with the products that are actually gone. I can't remember if I showed this in another empty, or I did show this in the empties already, but I can't remember if I showed it in the project pan. There is a little bit of product left in there, but it's so thick and goopy I can't get to it, and it's laid on its side, so that's why it looks like there's quite a bit, but there's really not. Next is this Rimmel eyeshadow primer. This is like gone. I'm barely getting anything out of it now. And I really like this product. It worked great. Maybe repurchase in the future when I need some primer again. But this was overall good. I think it was only like $5 or something. It worked really great. And then some of these products I keep forgetting about. So they're not almost done. But um, that always sucks when you put stuff back for a project pan or something. And then you kind of forget about some of the items. The Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This would be already gone, but honestly, sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, I don't even think about doing a primer. I just start the eyes and finish with a little bit of concealer and powder and stuff. So, primer's the last thing on my mind. So, we started somewhere up in here. Last update, and this is the final update. So, it's pretty much gone as well. Another product that's pretty much gone as well is the is the Sally Hansen Vitamin E Nail and Cuticle Oil. So, last update it was there and here it's down here. So, not much more to go. That will be done soon. Oh, this product is done. This is a hand cream from Dollar Tree from Fresh Sweet brand. Uh, it's a grapefruit scented hand lotion. That's gone. Uh, it started way up here. And it's gone. There's nothing left in here. It was a watery hand cream, but it served its purpose and I just finished it up. Uh, I do recommend the Baby Skin Primer. Also, it's pretty good. And this stuff is amazing. If you are getting dry cuticles and hands, pick you up some of this. It's about five, six dollars, but it's worth it. Another product that's almost done is the Garnet Plus Clean Nourishing Cleansing Oil. This is for dry skin. I really like this product. It's really, really good. So here's some marks. We started way up here. Last update. And now we're down here. So almost done with that. This stuff's really good. It smells like Hawaiian ginger as well. The scent from Cal uh, Calgon. The next few items I have here. I have the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Beige. My favorite one by far. But I had it a long time so I'm trying to use it up. Now when we first started this you could not see the pan at all. At all. The last one. It was peeking through, and now look at it. Yeah, we've made big progress on this product here. Like, literally, it's just sides left. So, that's pretty cool. I'm most happy with making progress on this one. The e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer Little Palette here. This shade here was one I'm interested in using up. Um, the last update, we could start seeing that inner rim there. And now, we can see a whole lot of that inner rim. So we'll definitely make progress on that product. And then this one as well. This is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation. And... I think we started way up here last update was here and final update is here the 
bottle looks like it does have more, but the foundation is literally just stuck on the sides. And like I said, it's just stuck on the sides. And I can see the where it is actually in the glass bottle. And it's really hard to get out now. So we're just about done with this as well. A couple more uses probably, and this will be gone as well. So yeah, that's all for this project pan update. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini project pan series. And stay tuned. Let me know if you want to see more project pan videos. I will do more. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any other upcoming content.